Welcome to my channel, where there are interesting and equally sensational stories. Listen to today's story. This is gonna be entertaining. I'm not the baby daddy. This happened to me over the course of a few years. This is a throwaway and the story may turn out longer than I thought. The backstory. I have some buddies at work that like to go out with their significant others on double dates sometimes. I was invited on several occasions, but let them know I'm not currently dating. So what do they do? They gave me a date, of course. It's a co-worker of Buddy's significant other. We'll call her Pete. Pete was a very shy, quiet girl, from a family that wasn't too strict or super religious. She seemed out of place at first, but looking back, I think she fit in with the crowd more than she let on. I won't give the significant others or buddies labels because they are not relevant for the most of the story, but they are important for how she and I met. And one or two other occasions. So us three couples went out. We hit it off and become fast friends drinking the night away, and I end up kissing her and paying for a taxi to take her home. The scare. Six months later, me and P are living together. She moved in with me and we are great together. We don't fight. And if we do, it's something silly that blows over seconds after it begins. One night after we had done the deed, I looked down and noticed my condom broke. Panic mode engaged. I started freaking out and tell her what happened. She immediately calms me down and says she's on birth control. I get relieved, but then relief turns to surprise. She never mentioned this to me before. Did she? She passes her off as something she mentioned to me, but I was busy with Fallout New Vegas at the time. Yeah, this was around when that game came out, so I probably didn't notice or say anything. Again, looking back, this should have been a red flag. I chalked it up to extra precautions on her part and felt really good about how well we worked together. She was being responsible for both our make. Birth control along with condoms can only make things extra safe right? Nope. She gets sick a week later, complaining that she is always in the bathroom and can't hold food down yeah. You know where this is going. The P stands for pregnant. Now, I am usually a pretty calm guy. A man, oh man, was I flipping my crap. Not at her mind you, I make pretty good money enough for her to only work part-time and go to school. I don't go to school. I worked. And still do, but in a much higher position. In a trade career, which I won't name for anonymity's sake, babies change things though. That means she would have to stop school, stay home for several months, and then full-time job. I wasn't worried about me, but her I can manage, but she wanted to finish school and be stable so that if we ever decided to have kids, it, it wouldn't be in this kind of situation. Well, she ends up getting an abortion. Bags me not to tell her parents who again are not super religious but this is a big negative to them. It took months of her talking to them and me courting her to let us live together. She and I were both 21 at this time. So of course, I wasn't going to say anything. I was almost shocked at her decision. That's right. Hers. I hoped she would get one for her sake and mine in all honesty. But I would have stayed and raised that child with her through the hard times because I loved her. For about four months, we barely talked. I thought things were over. But then one night, everything just magically went back to normal. I thought, yes, we are okay again. This was also a red flag, but in an extreme excitement, I don't think I realized it. Now having a big scare like that and knowing she was on birth control led me to decisions some of you may or may not cringe at thysectomy, I had one. Now, I went in for the consult with my primary care doctor and was referred to where I had it done. A week of ice and paid vacation. Now, I know what you are thinking, and I save some juice for later just in case and although I should have, I didn't tell P. Now, I know what you're thinking. WTF, but honestly, she was on break at the time visiting family. I wanted to wait and let her know when she got home and not discuss it when her parents are around. Wasn't sure how they would react if they overheard. I'm sure you can see how much her family opinion matters, and that will come up later too. I was back at work on light duty and business picked up fast. 
I had no time to even text or call her, letting her know I needed to talk to her about something important. By the time she got home, we both got so busy that I didn't even mention it. This may seem odd since it's a major game changer for a relationship, but I was also a young man whose life was and still is mostly full of constant go 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 work work work. Crap just vanishes to the cold storage sometimes. The heartbreak. Fast forward two and a half years. I was promoted a few times, was high off life, loved my significant other, and we were thinking about getting married when she finished school. By this point, our relationship had progressed enough that we no longer use birth control pills or condos. Now she says she got an IUD to prevent pregnancy. I thought that was odd at first. Think about how I was snipped. Oh, well, maybe she just wanted to be extra sure. Well, not so much. About midway through April 2014, and she gets sick again. This time, we have no idea what she could have. I rushed her to the and become that guy who took his significant other to the hospital to find out she is pregnant. Now the first thing most of you guys probably think I did was scream F you or cheater. Nope. I acted just as surprised as she did. Told her it's fine. We can get through this, and I'm with her 100%. The truth. Now state laws differ and your results may vary. But here, unless the father signs a birth certificate himself in person, it doesn't count. I made sure because the first thing I did after getting some time alone from her was see my company's attorney for a consult. He recommended me a good person to seek legal counsel and paternal matters. A week and a half or so later, I meet him and make sure I have undeniable proof that I'm not the father. I would have no responsibility for the baby or pee according to our state laws. So I had my assurances and as far as she knew, it was probably mine. Right? After all, we were not using any birth control at all. None. Turns out, she had scheduled the appointment had to put in, but was removed because of complications that caused pain and swelling. This, I was not informed of. Now, normally, I leave personal belongings alone. I trust that her and do not want to be the overbearing significant other that looks at your craft by accident. We both had her own phones, PCs, and tablets. So she didn't suspect a thing when I searched through, literally, no joke you guys, hundreds of emails of her back and forth, setting up dates, times, and prices that's right. She was screwing for cash or so I thought turns out, she was actually screwing for free and selling meds that she stole from patients. The abortion she got was not the first. Oh, did I mention she was in school to become an RN? She would sneak meds any way she could. She would take them from old people, young people, cancer patients. She was a sneaky witch too. She hid all of this from me and her teachers, as well as her parents. Her biggest supply was using people she had previously slept with and sold to. She would have them get hurt or help them get hurt and then get them prescribed pain pills. The revenge. I hope you stuck it out, and I hope this belongs here. For the entire time of her pregnancy, I said nothing. To her, her parents, her friends, her teachers, she was close to graduating and close to being a mom. Everything was so happy for her. Everything was going great. Well, I got an apartment and paid rent for it secretly. The place we lived was in her parents' name. Reason being, at a moment's notice, they wanted to be able to kick me out for wronging their daughter. This turned out to be an amazing blessing. Started selling my stuff to put into a fund for the baby, but was really moving it to my new place. She thought I was crazy when I sold my gaming rig, laptop, and Xbox. I said, it's all for us, baby. Now, this next part was risky, but I had no choice. I needed some help. I talked to the buddy who got me with her to begin with. They will be B and so. B had left the company I worked for, so this would not negatively affect him in any way. I needed more info on PE's part-time job so I could get back at her. So was her boss, and she was exactly the same to them on the outside. As she was to everyone else. To this day, I kinda admire her ninja ability but it was also why I have no regrets or guilt. I told them everything, showed them everything, 
BNSO were shocked. Said, sorry for me. Sorry for her. Then crazy furious with her. How dare she manipulate them like this? So stated things go missing from the workplace cash chores short, but P is always covered some kind of way. She had been framing people and was just very careful and calculated in her plans. ESO said she, in all honestly, never looked real hard at her either. Her facade had everyone fooled. Well, lucky for me, so said in PE's maternity leave, security cameras were replaced, and better quality. We made her plan then. In comes the week that she is due. She is wheeled into the hospital and stays for three nights before she birthed him. I have no problems with a child. As you will soon find out, but at the time, he was a symbol of misplaced trust and a broken heart. They have to take the baby away after a few minutes. He has jaundice and although he seems fine, want to make double sure. She reluctantly lets him go. What should we name our son? I tell you readers, I must have looked like the cat from Alice. I sure felt like it was. How? You mean your? What color she had left drains? And she stammers to speak before I put my hand up and tell her I got snipped six months after we started dating. Her face almost seemed to cave in. That confirms for me, the baby is only your baby. Not ours, baby, but yours and yours alone. Alone. Tears. Nothing but tears. I told her that she was never to speak to me again and walked out. I told the medical staff that under no circumstances was my name to be on that certificate. I was a concerned former boyfriend that she cheated on, and she was a junkie. Lab reports on the cord blood, unfortunately later showed this to be true. But the baby was fine and that I was only here to make sure her baby was alright. I was not to be contacted, and if she says I'm her boyfriend, don't believe her. If I needed to prove that to them, I would. I left, packed my crap, and left to my new apartment. Pro revenge. I know what you're thinking. That was not really that harsh at all. I don't think so either. I waited until she was back at home. I left my keys and $400 in an envelope at her place, that she had money when she was out and also to bait her. I knew that she would either, a, buy some more pills, or, b, try to sell her busted cuter or c, maybe just get her crap together and fix herself. d, cried a mommy, work, and school. I'll take A, B, and D for $400, Alex. That's right. She did all three. Now, I know at this point, I'm okay on the work front. I'm also okay on the parents' situation. The moment she was released, her parents picked her up because I wasn't there. She called them, complained, and told them everything. I was going to be thrown out, but what's this? I'm not there. She was probably upset she didn't get the joy of kicking me to the curb. Instead, there was the envelope for her with $400 in the keys. I don't know what went through her head, but she was already back into her normal routine before long. She must have thought I skipped town completely, calling work leads to a not here. They were informed, asking so leads to be hasn't heard from him. She thought she got off the hook with one baby and nothing else. A while later, she gets fired. Security footage shows her manipulating drawers and framing other employees. She tells her parents it wasn't her. They believe her. Next, her school gets a big package from an anonymous source letting him know she was recently fired for stealing and drug use. Now I'm not sure how she got through school. In the hospital without the drugs in her system popping a red flag. I know they tested the cord blood from the baby and I specifically stated she was a junkie. I never dug into it. Probably should have. Her school has zero tolerance policy against drug use. The package also contained the emails as well as the messages to and from buyers, sellers, and anyone else she did shady crap with. Did I mention the hospital she worked at also got a package? And the police. Her parents disowned her, fired, expelled, and CPA was on her case. To wrap it up, she lost everything, including the baby. He's fine now though. His real dad was found. She basically went back and looked for anyone that could have possibly been the father and at that point in time, kinda impressive considering. 
The guy was 29. Colin D. had been divorced and was lonely. I understand he had a great house in income, so he was given custody after a paternity test. Best part? The other couple we were with on the first date? She screwed that guy. That's right. He's actually still in my company too. I remember when he went through the divorce, I didn't talk to him much, so I had no idea he banged her. It only took one time. She never told anyone she met for sex. She was in a relationship. He had no idea we were dating. He didn't talk with me enough, and I was in a different part of the workplace at that point. So in the end, she has no home, no friends, no job, no career, a rap sheet, and now her kid is with his dad, and she gets zero visiting. I'm single. Still hang out with her parents, S.O. and D. Have my job, my apartment, and best of all, I'm not the baby daddy. C. I don't have a problem with op getting the vasectomy, but not telling her and letting that go by for years. Honestly, up until the second pregnancy, there really wasn't a reason not to tell her especially when she was considering an IUD. Out of all those years, birth control never came up, was never communicated, never said, hey, honey, don't bother with that invasive and painful IUD procedure, I got snipped. I honestly can't be mad at the girlfriend in this story. Obviously, cheating is terrible and I don't condone it. But I just feel bad that she went all this time with someone who was playing games with her and not being transparent.